Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I wanted to show you guys how you can set up symmetric painting inside of GIMP 2.10 and above. So if you go over to Windows and then you go down to Dockable Dialogues, they've added a new one in here. You scroll down here past sample points, symmetric or symmetry painting is right there. You do that and it's going to open up on the side. So you can see over here we have this new tab here, and there's a drop down called symmetry. By default, that's set to none, but we have three other options we can add to it. Mirror, uh, Tiling, and Mandela. So inside of Mirror, which is probably what most people are going to use, you can have horizontal symmetry and vertical symmetry. Also, central symmetry. So horizontal symmetry is top to bottom. Vertical symmetry is left and right. So central symmetry is going to be opposites but it can be uh, top to bottom and left to right so if i draw over here it'll draw in the bottom right hand quadrant and if i draw in the bottom left hand quadrant it draws in the top right hand so the next mode tiling would be interesting if you're trying to create any kind of pattern design to see how well it patterns so you could use this for pixel art or you could use it for any kind of web page pattern and then you'll be able to immediately see how it will look when it repeats multiple times on whatever art you're trying to create. And then the last option here, Mandela, is also interesting for creating patterns because you can get some pretty crazy effects when you are reflecting whatever you draw all the way around in a circle. So creating something like a flower shape becomes very, very easy there. So in a nutshell, that's where you can find the latest iteration on symmetry painting inside of GIMP. Once again, it's a Windows Dockable Dialog Symmetry Painting. So hopefully you guys can go ahead, try it, and have some fun. So I've been Chris, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my future videos.